A year ago today, a tragic shooting changed our city forever. Tonight, we look back and remember the three people who were killed that day. UCCS police officer Garrett Swayze, combat veteran Kier Stewart, and wife and mother Jennifer Markovsky. KRDO News Channel 13's Heather Skoll takes a look back at who they were. <laughs> It was a day that left us with irreparable scars. Up a shot. Three dead, nine wounded. As darkness came, we learned about those who would never be replaced. UCCS police officer Garrett Swayze was one of the first officers on scene. I'm proud to say my name is Rachel Swayze. A husband and father of two young children. The love of my life gave his life without regret. He had only been an officer for six years. He had made his mark as an ice skater and was a devoted man of faith. It's November 27th, 2015, the day I was expecting you. I know he can't come back, but it's like you, you just want, you just want one last opportunity to say what, what you didn't get to say. Kier Stewart, combat veteran, father of two children, his brother struggling to understand. I don't understand how a soldier can go to war and, and, that, um, and that brigade, that battalion, and, you know, survive that war and come back, you know, in your right mind um, in, in one piece with all your limbs. And then you come here to get murdered by somebody you never even met. Wife and mother Jennifer Markovsky. She also had a truly heartfelt compassion. Those who know her describe her best. In order to provide support, Jennifer accompanied a friend to an appointment at Planned Parenthood where the gunman opened fire. Three people whose lives are not forgotten. Stewart, Swayze, and Markovsky all leave behind children. The accused shooter, Robert Deere, is facing.